Uh, but thanks so much for joining us. This particular session, as Lauren said, is diving into event professionals as the new corporate communicators, which gives us a little bit of time to focus on perhaps some of the changes we're seeing internally across organisations and, and how the events role is continuing to evolve over the next few months or foreseeable future. Um, so to do that, I'm joined by two great panellists. I've got Valeria Slavina from Moody's Analytics and Abigail Wilkes from Evershed Sutherland. Thank you, Elliot, and thank you very much for the invitation. I think this topic is particularly very interesting for me. And maybe I should start by saying what we used to do before the pandemic started and how this has changed over time. So our events team, working for a corporate environment, we provided service to our sales team to support their business activities. What does that mean? That basically means that our sales team what driving the business for the entire company. They were the ones meeting clients, they were the ones doing all of the in-person meetings, and they were the ones trying to find and seek new business opportunities, either through some sort of calling campaigns or marketing campaigns. And when they needed or customers needed some sort of more details about the product we were offering or some service that we were offering, this is when they would approach our events team. They would come to us to say, we would need to put an event to be able to show customers what recent products we have developed, what sort of features have been updated. We would bring our product specialists to be able to show them what we can do and to answer any questions they might have had. And on the other hand, having been wor working for financial institution, financial industry, there are lots of different changes in regulations. And again, this is where we would come in handy. We have our in-house team of uh, subject matter experts who are able to answer any questions that market or customer might have. So we would put events to be able to bring in the industry experts and our internal experts who answer any questions or provide as many details as possible around details that regulation. What has changed now is events team has started to play a key role in delivering the message to customers. It probably wouldn't be something new that I'm going to say, but the businesses have slowed down at the moment and uh, it has become even more challenging to reach either existing customers or try and build new connections with new customers. And uh, to break the ice, our team is being viewed as a key stakeholder to build connections with the market, with the customers, and deliver key messages of the organization. And through events, our product and sales teams are able to likely, are more likely to engage with customers and the market and gain trust during these unprecedented times. And how do we do that? We do that by uh, providing more personalized, more tailored events. Those events could be tailored towards a specific type of customers or towards a specific region or towards a specific country, for example. And we show them that, of course, we are there to offer our services. We also stay up to date with different changes and different trends, but because at the moment we are living in a really fast-paced environment, and we are able to assist our customers during those challenging times. We haven't slowed down our operations. We are still there for them. And for our events, these are the key messages that we try to deliver to them. Yeah, and I think the, the sort of key theme we've seen coming out of this is the idea of teams sort of multi-skilling themselves, particularly around you know, the events um, side of things, you know, we're having to be a lot more resilient and adaptive in the way that we see things, you know, within professional services, you know, the marketing team is very much often seen as cost and, and we are a value add service and we're a kind of nice to have. Of course, we have to build revenue and, and generate and generate, you know, new clients and customers. And um, we are very much a commercial, you know, outfit, but it's about thinking about how you can really be that strategic advisor to your internal stakeholders and it's I think it's getting away from that idea of being task driven but very much kind of thinking ahead and thinking how can I you know look for opportunities and make sure that I'm enabling our business to reach its its own objectives and you know I think a lot of people can say 
that our clients and and particularly our internal um, partners are feeling a bit of webinar fatigue and we we see particularly in the legal industry a lot of content around COVID-19 and, and certainly in the first sort of month to six weeks where we're churning out a sort of tremendous amount of um, you know thought leadership around COVID-19 and across all of our legal areas our practice and sectors because that's what our clients wanted and that's what we were there to deliver is to help support them through you know these uncertain and challenging times that, that everyone's facing but I think now we've we've been able to take a pause and take a breath and think right this is here you know this sort of social distancing and the way we're doing business is, is slightly different. You know, our, our business model is moving towards, for some teams, an 80% week, which means that we're not at full capacity and we're not going to be for um, a time to come. And that's really got us thinking about how we can add value um, in the same way that we've, we've done to a very high standard, but four days a week, essentially. Um, and that's been a real shift in mindset. And what we've been able to do is look at which areas of our, our business um have the most need you know where are we currently generating the most revenue where do we see the opportunities over the six months next six months and therefore how as um, events and marketing professionals can we multi-skill and upskill ourselves to help be um a strategic part of that um and i think you know many of our junior junior colleagues have been able to take part and get involved in different projects that is that's beyond their own um remit which is great for their own career development it also helps to position themselves as as I said before, that sort of strategic advisor, they're, they're not just a task force of, right, well, we're in the office and you put on one event, you do a second event and it's, you know, week by week, day by day, actually now it's it's how can we add that value um, and that commercial perspective across all levels of our team. Well, I think in terms of the skill set, uh, even professionals by nature, should, they should be flexible in order to be able to thrive in this industry. However, the current situation has proven that they need to be reactive in the short term, but uh, very strategic and uh, innovative in the long term. And uh, they should be able to adapt to those um, changing circumstances or fast changing environment and serve as a key communicator between the company and the market. They should be able to take risks when trying something new, because if they don't, it becomes almost uh, impossible or very, very challenging for this industry to stay afloat. Even professionals should also uh, start developing those online platforms and skills for virtual events because there is a need to fast get up to speed with new technologies. All we want is to come back much stronger than we were even before the pandemic started and show how united we are as an industry and what, what, what kind of a key stakeholder we, we are on the global arena in general.